we are recording. <laughs> I'm in such a mood. <laughs> I shall explain. I will explain. Ugh. I've got to be completely honest. The GoPro has a scratch lens. And I'm trying to figure out if I have to pay to get it repaired or I can still use it just playing around with the mount a bit. So I've tried to put it, like, the, the scratch is, like, down here, like, facing downwards. So hopefully the other remaining, like, 350 degrees of the ang of the lenses will be good enough. So I apologise if the, if the um, camera work isn't the best today. I shall explain. You can probably see where I am. I'm at JNS. Bag zipped up. Pocket zipped up. Phone recording. GoPro recording. Please, nothing fail me. I'm not in the mood. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just <laughs> adjust the leather. <laughs> right. Oh, for God's sake. Look at the state of the road. It's raining as well. It was, it's not raining now. It was raining for a lot of the day. So there's water everywhere. Oh, and on top of that, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is going to be such a rant. On top of all of this, the braces I've been using for a whole two days to hold up my leather trousers because I need to get them tailored broke. They're not sitting right. <laughs> and I can't zip them to my jacket because the jacket's RST. The bottoms are held and the zips are the wrong way. Right, anyway. Hello. I promise I'm okay. I'm happy. I'm cheery. <laughs> I just... Right. I need new boots. This whole thing started because I need new boots. I have a pair of Frank Thomas boots which have served me well. One of them is called the Hero Boot for reasons you'll have to go and watch that um, accident video. Um, I need new boots. I got them off eBay six months ago. They were 40 quid. They've served me well, but they are kind of battered. Um, and, and falling to pieces. Like, they, they still, they're, they're still protecting. I don't feel like I'm unprotected, but, um, they're on their way out. So. Okay, get out the road. Thank you. So, I went on eBay to look and see what's available, and I found a couple of Alpine Stars boots. They were like 80 quid instead of the usual 250, and they were basically brand new. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way, so we're just sort of figuring it out as we go along. Um, yeah, I found a couple of pairs of Alpine Stars boots, which actually look like they have a decent heel on them as well. Um, I know the Daytona one's been recommended, but I can't find those, and I'm not spending 400 quid on a pair of boots right now. So, I was looking around. Anyway, yeah, found some on eBay, but obviously I wanted to go and try them on and see if they actually fit before I spend 80 quid on a pair of boots. They might be second hand, still a lot of money. So, I went to JNS, and I'm just so annoyed because the selection that is available, there was the Alpine Stars boots of one variety in two colors, white or pink, go figure, and then Frank Thomas in one variety. I'm normally a size 4, which is a 37 in all the sizes that they use. There were no 37 boots. They only had 38, 39, and 40. Fair enough. You usually have to size up anyway. So I was trying on some of the boots. Even the 40 does not go round my car. Let's go ahead. Oh my God, what is that? Oh. Twigs. What, what I don't understand is why when they shrink boots, as in when they shrink the, the foot size, they also shrink the calf size. Because I might be short and I might have sh small feet, but my calves aren't like twigs. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was the first thing, is that there were, no, there were none of my size. And the second thing was, let me put my grips off because it is absolutely miserable, it's not helping my mood. The second thing is, I'm trying to find boots. Like, these are already a struggle to get over my leathers. And I get, like, I have shorter shins than the average person. So a lot of material is, like, bunched up. I'm trying to find stuff that fits over leathers because my textile stuff, it doesn't... It's not the highest rated stuff. So if I'm doing high speed, like right now I'm doing 55, it's not going to protect me as well. So I'm trying to wear my leathers more. But 
I can't wear them if I can't find boots that go over the top of them. So why are these ladies' boots not designed to have calves that fit over, not just your calf, because I'm sure if I tried them on with just my gym leggings on, they'd probably fit. But I'm not just wearing gym leggings on a bike, I'm wearing leathers. And there's a lot of material between skin and boots. I tried on some of the men's stuff and the calves are significantly bigger. Or they have adjustments so that you, if you are if you have particularly big calves, like you can adjust the boot and it will still fit your foot as well. But obviously the men's boots don't go down enough that I can pick one up and have a, have a well-fitting boot from that section. I went to look in the clearance and there are, I'm, I'm quite particular about the kind of boot that I'll wear. I'm only wearing track boots right now because I've not found anything else that has enough protection for me to think, yeah, I feel safe wearing those. None of the boots in the ladies' clearance were track boots. They were all flimsy leather ones or ankle sneaker boots, which if you have decent shin protection in your normal armour, then go for it. But I don't. And I've already had a, an accident where my boots saved my shin from getting really hurt. So I'm not about to start having less protection on my shins. So the only boot I could find that fit me in JNS was an ankle boot. And I put them on and I like knocked against my shin. And I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't wear that because if, if I peg or if something hits that, my shin's going to break. And I don't feel comfortable wearing it. So that's my rant. There's no point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, you know, if you're watching this video expecting something like uh, mind blowing. I mean, if you're watching this video expecting something cool, then you're, you're on the wrong channel because I just waffle all the time. <laughs> but I wanted to make this trip worth it because otherwise I would have gone in the car to JNS, but I needed to wear the leathers so I could make sure the boots fit around what I would normally wear on the bike. So the only thing I can think of is I'm going to wait. Yeah, please stay there. Thanks. Um, I'm going to wait until I have these leather trousers tailored and then hopefully I'll have enough material taken out where I don't necessarily need the material there. You know, if I know it's going to be in a boot because I don't plan on wearing anything lower than this, I can have them adjusted so that basically it's just the thinnest leather you can get on the part where it's going to be inside the boot. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go ahead. Yeah, wait until the... Um, Woo! <laughs> it was tighter than I thought. Wait until I've got the leathers tailored and basically skinned back so that they'll fit in boots. Oh my god, potholes on this road. Not fun. So, this, this is the thing, right? Is that those boots would have fit me fine if I'd gone wearing my armoured jeans. And I do still wear my armoured jeans. And, like, if you look at the gear video, I've got. I've got the jeans I talked about and I've got some Moto Girl cargoes. They're ideal for me when I'm commuting through like residential areas but obviously these leathers they have the highest rating so i try to wear them when i'm going out and about like this yeah this was my thought is that they've designed boots that fit around the the thin materials because they are popular that the casual clothing but then it encourages women to wear them no matter what they're doing you know, if you're if you're going on loads of motorway and you're wearing the A-rated jeans, they're probably not going to hold up in a slide, but they might be the only thing that fits if you're wearing the track boots with the skinny calves. Maybe this is a me problem. I mean, this rant kind of applies to any piece clothing, to be honest, or any ladies' clothing in a store without having to order a bunch of sizes in, because it's just depressing sometimes. It puts me in a foul mood. <laughs> Uh, so I was so lucky to find these leathers in the clearance section. Even though some, I need, I need to get the waist adjusted. I need to get material taken out of the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the legs. I need to get a bit taken out from above the knee. Like there is stuff I still need doing, but they, they fit well enough that I can ride in them and they're not like restrictive or overly baggy. But just like in general, like, come on guys. <laughs> can you please sort your ladies sections out? I don't care if it's not the boot I want to buy, but I want a multiple sizes and multiple brands so I can see what size I am in each brand. That was one of the things we said in our gear video is you're probably going to end up having to buy all your gear online and that's okay if you know what size you are in those brands. But we need those brands in stock so we can try them out. And the nearest sports bike shop to me is like an hour away. JNS is a lot more local. So I know people say like, like order into a sports bike shop and I will. But like JNS is like the e-motorcycle clothing shop in my area 
and today they had nothing for me to 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 look at. It's this kind of stuff where you can't necessarily take a gamble with the size because right, I'm five foot and my my gear ranges from a size eight to a fourteen. How on earth am I gonna buy stuff online without knowing what size I am before I like buy it? Because it, any of those sizes, eight to fourteen, would fit me. <laughs> How does that work? And I know this sizing thing's like all over the place. For, oh my god, what's going on now? Don't test me. This GoPro has moved a lot since I've been recording, so I think this video might be just facing me. Apologies. Maybe I just need to get, get it repaired. <laughs> it's my own fault. The, the lens is scratched. It's because it's, these 360 lenses, they like stick out. They're so easy to get scratched. <sighs> what a day. What? A, at least it's not raining. Because if it was raining, I think, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm done. You know, that's it. Right, someone doesn't know where they're going. Is there anything else I wanted to say? I don't know. I hope this footage works. So I think what I'm asking for, it isn't to have the same late size, like, um, oh, what's, like, same amount of floor space as the men's section, because, I, I, again, we get, like, it is a male-dominated hobby, so you're going to have more male stuff, you know? Like, I'm not asking for half of JLS to be ladies' stuff and half of it to be men's stuff. I'm asking for a variety like just one pair of RST ladies boots and one pair of Frank Thomas ladies boots with a few sizes does that make sense like not one type of alpine style boots 20 pairs across four sizes and not one set of Frank Thomas boots three sizes no three pairs two sizes you know that that's all that was there for track boots and i looked at some of the men's stuff that were that were shorter so they were more ankle boots but they still had shin protection and the lady stuff had no shin protection so i didn't feel comfortable looking at like thinking about buying those because all they have is a bit of ankle guard and obviously the reinforced salt but yeah so what i'll have to do order in a bunch of different pairs in sports bike shop which is another thing because I went on their site and there are two, I repeat, two types of boots, as in in track boots, two boots that have my size. So when I go and order in a bunch of sizes, it will be ordering both of those and hope one of them fits. I, I realised how lucky I was to find these boots originally. Hello. <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> Let's go this way because there's cues and I can't be bothered with that. If I can find just these boots again, I will, but I found one pair in there, a size 8. I'm just going to pull over here. I'm going to put my GoPro on my helmet and carry this on. Dude, dude, thank you. Back to this mode. So I'll see what filming in 360 does and then decide if I need to spend some money to get the camera repaired. I don't know. Or whether it's even worth it because it's either put that money towards repairing it, that one scratch on the lens, or putting that money towards a little helmet cam so that I don't actually need the 360 mode except from when I like I use it as a dash cam that's why I got the 360 but obviously I can still use it as a forward facing camera and then have a helmet cam like this for the times when I want to show you the road as well because I like the forward facing cam but or the backwards facing cam the rider facing cam but I also like the helmet cam I think the forward facing camera from the 360 mount sometimes looks a bit weird so, I don't know. I could rant about ladies sizing all day. Or just the, the a lot of the um, sizing available to us in stores. I'm not saying there's not enough gear because there are companies now out there which do quite well at sort of expanding the ladies range. But it does my head in that track boots in particular are not built to go around leathers over calves. Or is this just a me problem? I don't know. <laughs> There's a very specific rant. Well, this was the road that was closed the last time I went for a ride around here. <clears throat> See what's going on. Uh, dude, that's a red light. 
Do you know something I don't? Or did you just want to go? Oh, I think they're not working. They're not working. Yeah. That's my good deed of the day. At least it's one where you can see everyone. So it was like a, you go, then I go, then you go, then I go. Because imagine if it was like round the corner. I feel better now. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Let me know, please, if this is a universal issue. <laughs> or am I just like... I know our five stars don't really fit me. They're not, I'm not their, their typical person they make clothes for. But, like... It just... Why are they not at least adjustable? Like, a little bit of extension? Because that's what these boots have. They have a little bit of extension around the, around the car. Yeah. Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go and check out the gear video if you are looking at gear and, like, what we've got so far. Because we've got some stuff, like... I try to name everything we have so you can search for it yourself. Obviously, some stuff... I've basically got... Both of us have basically got all of our stuff secondhand apart from the, um helmets and I think my yeah I bought my gloves new so some of the stuff is discontinued like this jacket the blade jacket is discontinued as far as I'm aware but well folks let's go let's go I'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>